All right, I decided to go out to the shed and get this other Zoellaire M53. Let's see if we could clean up this. Made in the U.S. And hey, I don't wonder if that say it's gonna clean up here. It's hot here. Hot in Jersey. It's a hot day. Um. Yeah, she's cleaned up, but uh, I'm not sure that it's going to come up on camera. Is it going to come up on the camera? Maybe it is. Focus. It's hard to see. Hard to see. Hard to see. Let's see if we get another light on it and see what uh, we come up with. Can we read it on the camera? Yeah, it says... M530. Ah, oh, man, this video. I'm bad at videoing. Um, eh, maybe you could make it out. Maybe you can't. <coughs> you know about Zoller pumps. You know, this is M53, right? So, let's see if we get a little bit more light there. That's not doing much. Anyhow, that's uh, one Zoller. Both these Zollers, again, are about the same age. I think they're like about five or six years old. I wonder if we could actually confirm that with the serial number here on this plate. That's but that's the other Zoller, right? So I took that one apart that had water in it. I had this one, I believe, as a replacement for this one. So this one's probably a little bit older, right? Um, but not too much older. That switch sounds like it's bad. It's not making that positive connection. And I don't think I ever changed the switch. But I bought that pump. Well, I'm pretty sure they're both, both these pumps are from Supply House. Okay? And SupplyHouse.com. And this was in the shallow pit. I go back to the video of when I installed the shallow pit at the bottom of those stairs and see how old these are. But this one failed. I put it in the shed been shitting, sitting there for years this one failed probably a long time ago but i just realized it recently because we had a big uh, rainstorm we had about five six inches of rain and this thing wasn't doing anything so um opened it up had water in the switch and as confirmation i don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this on camera but these are the screws that i took out and if you could tell I got a little bit of black silicone, like brake caliper silicone on these. Okay. I definitely changed the switch. And it wasn't too long ago because I remember I actually got the switch for free from Zoller. So thank you for sending it out, Zoller. But <clears throat> she didn't work. Okay. So. Got my trusty channel lock here bought myself more channel locks for Christmas, even though I don't really need more channel locks, but they're made in the United States of America, and I'm happy about that, so, channel lock, good company, we're going to try to see if we could break these free, nice and easy, and I'm going to imagine this is not going to be so easy, oh, look at that, she's coming apart, not so much of a problem, that one. Oh, it's coming apart. Not so much of a problem. I definitely didn't change this switch. I only remember changing the switch on one of the pumps. Pretty loose. I don't know if that's... Imagine that's part of the problem. That would suck. All right. <clears throat> I can guarantee you when I took that pump apart, removing these screws was not that easy. That I remember. And that's why I put the silicone on them. So, did I change this switch as well? I don't think so. But we're going to do this live, one-handed. One-handed. See what we come up with. This part do video.
which is <coughs> I bet this switch is definitely toast. Wonder if I could ohm it out and see if that would uh uh how the hell to test it. You know, there's it's gotta be a way to test it. I just don't know how. I'll figure it out though. I don't know how to do it. We'll figure it out. It's going to be an unedited video here. Okay, so we got that off and... You know, actually, these pumps are slightly different. Um, these pumps are just slightly different. This one has this little doohickey coming out. So I wonder if somebody could, te could tell us if, uh, if that means that this is an older pump than this or this is new, uh, older than this one. Who the hell knows, right? But I'm just going to tappy tap, tap, tap. Off. Okay. I'm not sure what the hell that is. Looks like there is some type of. I don't know if you can see that. That looks like some type of grommet that used to live around those entry wires, those service wires. All right. Maybe that's a clue, folks. Maybe that's a clue as to why these pumps are failing, right? Maybe it's not this gasket. Maybe it's this. Sorry about that, bro. Sorry about that video. Not doing a good job video on here. Maybe it's not the gasket. The gasket's probably fine. This gasket's probably fine. I think that's what some people think the problem is. Maybe even Solar thinks that's what the problem is. Meanwhile, it's this gasket that's messing up. Or this gasket that's messing up. Yeah. Um, man, for you guys that do good videos and you got your tripods and stuff like that, man. God bless you. I don't know how you guys do it. I can't do it. I'm just not that smart. I don't have a tripod either. Yeah, that's what help. Alright. Let's take this one out. So take this one out. Oh. Okay. So this switch is slightly different in that it doesn't have man, I suck at videos. See how this one is different? This doesn't have that little tab that has that tab, right? See the difference there? Not sure what the significance of that is. Switch inside seems somewhere. Okay. Maybe it's working hot. Huh? Definitely. This thing, this pump hasn't been used in a long time, and you could still. I don't know if that. It's like some varnish buildup of, it's not wet, but it looks wet. I'm not sure what the hell that is. Um, and here though, that thing, what in the hell is that thing? All right, that's a clue, no doubt. And that was right underneath here, you could tell. This is probably where the water is coming in. Yeah, look at that. I, I mean, this is... Oh, I dropped you guys. I dropped you guys. Ah, oh, we're still going, but look. This thing's... That's definitely where the water is coming in. This bad boy. Look at that. Look at that. There's no fucking seal there. Er, er, er. Yeah. Nothing. No seal there. So that's the problem with this pump, almost guaranteed freaking teed. All right. 
think we're going to be making some uh, some of our own gaskets here. So get some RTV or something and maybe silicone or whatever the fuck might work here. And I think we're going to go with some external float switches for these things to get them to turn on quicker. Right? So that way if we turn on faster, we don't even actually have to worry about these seals, right? So hopefully we can get them to turn on around six inches because most of these openings are at around, uh, I want to say about the seven inch mark or so. Don't know if we silicone the shit out of this thing, if it's even going to actually work. Um, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Who the hell knows? But that, folks, that's a dead giveaway. And that thing was moving around loose as a goose. All right, so we're going to clean this one up. And maybe I don't even fucking need to clean it up. I mean... Probably fine. Maybe we'll just clean up the context. Maybe more trouble than it's worth. Actually, can you clean up that inside? Not really worth it, I think. Right? I mean, you could definitely see that. Now, good lighting there. So P uh, PN fifty three M fifty three. Don't know what I'm looking at as far as if there's some year stamping but it says 0689 is this thing from 1989 that sit on the shelf that long or something i don't know 115 volts i don't know what 810 is eight maybe eight amps i don't know i don't know i don't know Maybe, maybe when I post this, somebody could uh, tell me what these numbers means. But there's an 03 there. 03 something. 03. Ba -da -ba. It definitely looks like 0689. I'm not sure if that's a date code or not. But uh, again, somebody could tell us. And. This was the one that was on this one, right? So this is the one where I changed the switch. I didn't change this mechanism. So this should also be a dead giveaway as far as how old the pump is. I wonder if I could tell what the nameplate is on this one. I gotta clean this one up. <coughs> See if we can do it live here. We're at 13 minutes, folks. 13 minutes. Let's see what we got here. I'm gonna clean that one up. See what kind of code we get off of that one. Parts flying. Watch your toes. Um, yeah, that's still pretty dirty. How about the orange? Is the orange going to help us? Is the orange even going to want to come out? The orange degreaser stuff. <sighs> um, but um, bum. What do I got here that I could clean this up? I got a software brush. Probably do. Probably do. I want to do this. I might edit this part because I want to see what the hell. Where's that thing? Yeah. Welding wire brush here. Sure, if that helped or hurt. Okay. Mix 
some room up here on the bench of sorts. What does this say? What does that say? Uh, 07. Oh, that's definitely a data manufacturer stamp. I could read that there. Um, I don't know what this one says, though. 07. 1, 2. I gotta clean that up a little bit better. Data manufacturer. Focus, focus, focus. Can't really make it out, but definitely 07. M53. Boo, boo, boo. So maybe that other, this pump's from, I guess, 89. Uh, if that's the same. Same. Uh, type of nameplate, I would imagine it is, right? So. All right, we're going to clean this plate up a little bit more and. Already at 16 minutes of a, a pretty damn boring video here with this shit. This one's wet. This one's not. So this one's older. This one's older, I think. Yeah, that one's the one that's in 1989. So definitely. Let's see if we could get this to pop here. Unless it's made in 07. And that's all it means, like in us 2007. Um, but I think it says 0711 or maybe 13. We'll clean it up. We'll see what it comes out to. See you in a bit.